Today, we're going to take another sneak peek into the world of Koya. For all you guys out there watching, you might have wives, partners, sisters, mothers that would be interested to know all about this amazing form of free dance, meditation, yoga techniques. And to tell us more about it, we have Liz Reichart. Hi, Liz. Hi. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Five of the, of the top reasons that person would want to try Koya for the first time. So um, it's really fun to move your body just for the sake of moving your body. It's great for getting you out of your head and stopping to think and overthink and bring you back into your body and to feel your emotions and to dance with them. It's an amazing way to connect with the women in your community because we sit together, we sit in circle, we share and you will make friends coming to Koya. Um, it's great for your mental health and it gives you something to another way to um, move and dance and just forget about what's happened for the week and just come into this class and be happy. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it really is just well, fun, a lot of fun. You can't get enough fun in Can't get lives. enough fun. That's, That's exactly right. <laughs> now, for a beginner like me, like someone who's never mm -hmm. done Koya before, what would a beginner expect in, a, in their first class? Um, so I exp when, I, when you come to a class, I welcome you in, you're, you get to sit down on a yoga mat, and then I will, when doing the introduction, which goes for sort of about five minutes, I'll explain everything what you need to know about the class. And that's where I explain to you that the whole thing about Koya is that it's a dance practice that's based on the idea that through movement we remember, and what we remember is that our essence is wise, wild and free. And you experience that through the class by the different kinds of movements that you make. So you get the wisdom from yoga, from tuning into your breath, your heartbeat and your feelings. You get the wildness from the free dance, from being wildly, truly yourself. And then you get freedom from finding the ways to move your body that just feel so good. Now, if someone's sitting at home, they're a little bit anxious about getting out of the house, trying something new. Mm -hmm. They can just come and try it, can't they? What would you say to someone yes. that's like, oh, I don't know about, I don't know anybody, what, you know? Well, well so when you sign, when you go onto my website and you sign up for my newsletter, you'll get sent a code so you can book in for your first class for free. And that is for any of my in-person or Zoom classes. So basically, you won't, it won't cost you anything to come. It'll cost you the two hours to come and see what it's like. Um, and of course, the other option is my Zoom classes which the benefit of Zoom is with, and with my classes is there's no obligation on you to keep your camera on. You can take it into the backyard, you can do it in your bedroom, you can do it in your PJs, you can do it however you want to. Oh, beautiful. So that might be a way of easing you in too. Now, uh, Koya is designed for women. Yes. And, but there are similar modalities that men can do. Can you tell us a bit about that? There are the other... There's other modalities which are free dance that are less structured than Koya. Koya is quite structured. But the ones that are available for all sexes is um, there's five rhythms, there's something called body mind centering, there's a static dance, and those are all things that are happening in and around Melbourne, and there are online classes as well. So, Liz, what's the, who's the oldest person you've ever had doing Koya? I, well, I had my 75-year-old mother doing classes okay. and she brought a couple of her friends who were in similar age group to her. Mm -hmm. uh, and last year in March, as part of an initiative through the Hume City Council, I was actually running classes for seniors. So we had a, a group of women there who were coming weekly through March and they were all 60, 60 to 70 years old who were coming and doing Koya. And for those classes, what we did is I have the yoga mats as I have for all my classes, and I also had chairs. So people could, so the women could sit on the chair if they preferred for the whole class, or use it to get up and down, or however they found was the best way for them to be part of the class. And how long do you think you're gonna keep teaching for? As long as I can still dance. <laughs> I'm not stopping. I'm ready for to take over the world with Koya. And now, Sabina, I hear you've been doing Koya for a while. Tell us about it. Um, a little while, um, since last year. Um, and, I, I mean, I love dancing, but I find with Koya, um, it just really completely takes you out of your, your mind um, in a good way and into your body. Um, so it's a very sort of somatic experience. Um, and, you know, Liz is a great leader. 
and um, you know there's all sorts of elements to it so yeah so I how really did you like find it. about Koya to start with um, I just found out about it through a mutual friend actually um, and we came here and had a group and it was great yeah. So you're only relatively new that I've only got yes. six months. Yeah, yeah. So can you see yourself doing this long term? Um, I can certainly see myself continuing to do it, that's for sure. Um, I might make it every week, but, you know, it's a really um, enjoyable modality. So, yeah, I think it's a, a really good, healthy... Because it's great physically as well as just, you know, emotionally, so... Yeah. So you just come along and you don't need to wear anything special, any special clothing? Not really. I just sort of wear my jogging stuff, but you could wear anything really. Yeah. And you don't need any special gear? Nope. 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 Just yourself, as far as I can tell. So yeah. you just come along yeah. in whatever along. clothes and have a good time. And have a good time. Exactly. So what would you say to someone sitting at home uh, thinking about trying Give it, it a try. Give it a try. Definitely. You won't regret it. It's a lot of fun. Come along. Now, Liz, can you tell us a little quick technique that people might like to try at home? Well, I think one of the best things that comes out of a Koya class is shaking. So the way I introduce it in a class is that I say that I'm going to show people how movement can be medicine, and I tell this story, and I invite them to take one hand and to start shaking. And what I say is that there, once, there was a gazelle who was running across the African savanna, and she was being chased by a gigantic lioness. And the lioness was gaining on the gazelle, and the gazelle thought she was going to die. But the lioness zigged right, and the gazelle zigged left, and the gazelle got away. Now, she can't go to her girlfriends and say, oh, my God, I nearly got eaten by a lion. So what she does instead is she stands there and she shakes. Oh. She shakes out the fear and the adrenaline and all the other emotions that came up for her while she was running for her life, and then she stops and goes back to being gazelle. So stop shaking and hold up your two hands and compare the feeling in the hand that you just shook to the hand that's sitting still normal. Oh, this is amazing, this yeah. hand. Yeah. So I always get a really light sort of buzzy feeling. Yeah, it's a buzzy, it. yeah. warm circulation, yeah. energy. So what my tip for you is, if you are feeling blah, you're having a shitty day at work, you just don't know how, you've just got a thing and you don't know how to deal with it, get up and shake. And if you can't stand up, lie on your bed and do it like a two-year-old throwing a tantrum. Arms, legs in the air, literally shaking your entire body. Do it for 30 seconds and trust me, you will feel so much better afterwards. All right, so have you got any last words of wisdom to, to, to about everyone to be in the Koya? Oh, everyone to come into the Koya. Koya is so much fun and it's so hard to describe what Koya is until you come and do it and try it for yourself. So what I would say is give it a go and if you don't like it, the worst that's happened is you've spent two hours of your life in the company of other women. Now that the show is finished, why don't you go and pop on your favourite music and do your own free dance? For information on Sun Rangers Koya, go to our website, carolohalloran.com. If you'd like a free chat with Christine Williams from Smarter Property Investing about your property situation, info is also on our website, carolahalloran.com. Please connect with us through Facebook, YouTube and Insta. Over 50, so what? Replays also available through CTV+. Now, get up and dance or move like no one is watching. Because no one is watching. I'm Carol. See you next time. Thanks for watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. I'm Carol, over 50, so what? <laughs>